हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी लर्निंग चैप्टर लाइट एंड शेडोज सो वी विल स्टार्ट द लाइट एंड देन वी विल डिस्कस शेडोज सो व्हाट इज रियली लाइट नाउ यू आर वाचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड लाइट इज कमिंग ऑन माय बॉडी एंड गेटिंग रिफ्लेक्टेड बैक ऑन दिस कैमरा सो इट्स गिविंग सेंसेशन टू द कैमरा टू रिकॉर्ड इट इन द सेम वे I am watching this board. Light is coming toward it and entering into my eyes. So, uh, light is energy which causes sensation to our eyes. Okay. Now uh, we talk about the sources of light. So, what are the source of light? Source of light are those things from the light is generated. So, there are two kind of sources of light. First is man-made and the second is natural. What are man-made? These are CFL. We also have used bulb, and we have also used candles. So these are the three man-made, and there are a number of more which are man-made sources of light. Okay. So uh, next are natural. Natural sources of light are sun, stars, and if you talk about uh, uh, animals, there are fireflies, which so we also call jugnu. these are also natural sources of light and uh, the light which is in uh, present in fireflies is also known as bioluminescence okay so based on uh, this light the objects can be of three types they can be transparent they can be translucent and they can be opaque let's first uh, start with transparent object okay if i have this uh, object right now and if i have a light source and if i take it in front of it so light is uh, uh, going through it so all those object which allow light to pass through them are known as transparent they can be sheet of a glass uh, this is a special type of plastic and water also water also can be taken as transparent okay okay so next are translucent those object which partially allow light to pass through them partially mean some of it not all some of it so it can be these type of objects it is allowing light to pass through them but not all see now the light is there and if you uh, take this this is translucent it partially allows the light to pass through it so examples can be butter paper tissue paper and also the oils are also example of Uh, the translucent the third kind of uh, objects are opaque opaque means those objects which does not allow light to pass through them okay it does not allow any light to pass through it now there is light and it does not allow so this uh, all the objects which does not allow light to pass through them are known as opaque object they can be uh, cardboard uh, wood a uh, metal sheet these all objects are uh, opaque objects so now The third thing is we want to know the characteristic of light. So we have so far we have discussed about the uh, light. What is light? And their sources. And on the uh, the light there are three kind of object: transparent, translucent, opaque object. Now we want to see uh, the light travels in straight path. In your book it is an activity. So let me explain it. here it is so i have taken one light source and there are two sheets i have uh, made some holes in it and there is a third sheet so what do you observe so you observe that light is going through this and light traveling in straight path and it is giving a coming here so light is traveling in a straight path this activity shows that light travels in the straight path. you need to cardboard piece or to any opaque object you have to dug some uh, make some holes in it and you have a screen on screen the light is uh, observed so it shows that light always travels in a straight path okay so with this activity we have shown that light always travels in the straight path next thing we want to discuss is about shadows what are shadows uh, let me tell you 
for that we need this clear board so uh, let me tell you uh, what are the shadows okay you need three things for a shadow a light source and screen this white board is acting as a screen and you have opaque object we have done so the shadow is formed over there so uh, how will you define it you will define as an opaque object comes in the path of light it makes some black regions over there and these black patches or regions are known as shadows again listen we need three things for a shadow light source opaque object and a screen screen can be anything wall whatever you want to use so how will you define shadow definition when an opaque object comes in the path of light it it makes some black patches these black patches or the reason black regions are known as uh, shadows so now the second thing uh, characteristic of shadows there are two characteristic of shadows now listen first is shape and size of the shadow depends upon relative position of source of light and opaque object so uh, see if i take toward this shadow becomes bigger and if i take away from it shadow becomes smaller so size and shape of the shadow depends upon relative position of it and don't be confused either i can move the opaque object either i can move this also if i move this also then also the size and shape of the object uh, changes the next thing the shadows are always black in color let me tell you now if i take an blue object this is blue object shadow is black again black again uh, we take yellow it uh, yellow and shadow is again black if we take a uh, maroon suppose i take maroon opaque object shadow is again black so shadows are always shadows are always black in color irrespective of the uh, color of the opaque object so uh, in this we have learned about these topics so in next video we will we will learn about more about light and shadows thank you very much